Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Patrick Campbell, and I work with uh, CMU Libraries Open Science and Data Collaborations Program. And in this series, we're uh, condensing some of our online uh, uh, curriculum in R, uh, some of the workshops that we do in reproducible research into an asynchronous format uh, so that you guys can kind of move at your own pace um, and um, really just have a kind of more personalized experience as you're walking through this curriculum. Uh, so we want to welcome you here. Um, feel free as we go through to um, uh, follow along with me on the PDF on the website uh, shared in the links. Um, I will go ahead now and share my screen and just show you how to access this curriculum through the website. So this workshop will be using curriculum that's hosted on our GitHub pages. Um, if you navigate to the URL that's provided in the link, you can find all the courses that are included in this mini series and links to that curriculum. And in today's session, we're gonna be using Introduction to R. And the course curriculum link is right here. If you click this link, it'll take you to a PDF that you can download and use to follow along as we go. These videos use timestamps. So as we move along through the curriculum, um, we'll include those, uh, those timestamps to allow you to follow along um, just to make sure you always know where you're at in the video and can uh, easily navigate to the, the place that you left off. In this first segment, we're gonna give you a tour of the RStudio interface. Uh, we're then gonna talk about creating a new project um, and getting everything set up. And then we're also gonna talk about setting up a working directory to organize all your files as we move through this exercise. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the RStudio environment. When you open up RStudio, you'll see this screen here. This is called an integrated development environment. Um, you might just think of it as an interface that simplifies uh, the use of R. Um, it's a little bit more user-friendly. It has some uh, shortcuts if you don't remember some of the commands, um, the coded versions of those commands. You can kind of take advantage of these, um, these shortcuts in order to execute the same processes. Um, so in the console here, this is where we'll actually be writing our R code. Nothing in the console will be saved. Um, this is just to basically um, run some of those um, initial commands to set up um, packages, install packages, and, um, and uh, do some of the kind of groundwork for your project. On the top right, we have our environment. Um, this is where we basically save any of the objects that we create in R. Uh, so as we create variables and other kinds of objects, those will be stored and we'll be able to, to kind of keep track of those in our global environment. And finally, down in the bottom right, we have a, a kind of multi-purpose window here that's currently looking at our file structure. Um, as you can see, there are some other tabs here and we'll uh, start using those as we go forward. But for the purposes of this, uh, this first segment, we're really just using this file structure um, to make sure that as we set up our working directory that everything looks the way that it should. If it's the first time that you're opening up RStudio, you might be prompted to create a new project. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that would look like from within an active session. If you click on file and scroll down to new project, it'll take you to a new project wizard. Go ahead and click on new directory and then new project and then give your project a name. I'm gonna call this session introduction to art. 